the company that has remained steadfast and kept the right principles. The company headed toward the world with the right principles. The company that grows with its customers and shares generously. We are Atomy. Atomy, which has been growing ever since its establishment in 2009, achieved 2.2 trillion Korean won in global sales in 2021 and surpassed 16 million global members. Atomy's number one goal of going beyond customer satisfaction to customer success continues to be its top priority to this day. Providing good quality products at reasonable prices, Atomy's competitiveness lies in the nature of distribution. The absolute quality and absolute price product philosophy that Atomy has practiced since its inception is included in all of its products, such as health functional foods, beauty, living, food, fashion, home appliances, and more. Hemohim, which has been the top seller in its industry for seven consecutive years, has passed 1.7 trillion Korean won in cumulative sales. It has gotten international patents in 21 countries and is forging a unique new path for health functional food products. Absolute Skin Care, which has become one of the best selling cosmetics in the industry with sales of 100 billion Korean won every year since its launch, was recognized for its advanced technology with King Sejong Award from the Korean Intellectual Property Office in 2021, for the first time in the cosmetics industry. The Fame, another luxury cosmetic product reborn with upgraded ingredients and technology, is also loved by consumers as it reflects Atomy's product philosophy. Atomy is practicing customer-centered management in all of its corporate activities, and this was recognized by becoming the industry's first to acquire customer-centered management certification for two consecutive years. Starting with the U.S. branch in 2010, Atomy is a global company which opened 22 branches in Asia, South America, Oceania, and Europe, with 16 million members worldwide. Atomy opened branches in New Zealand, Turkey, the United Kingdom, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan and is planning to open 20 more branches within the next five years. Atomy's GSGS strategy, which stands for Global Sourcing Global Sales, allows the supply of products that align with the absolute quality and absolute price philosophy through Atomy's global sales network. Atomy's success system, in which the company runs all seminars, allows any member to succeed regardless of individual ability. This is the driving force behind Atomy's distinctive growth. The next generation of online and offline distribution broadcasters, which presents Atomy's vision to members around the world regardless of time and space. Entertainment and media, which converges business and culture. Atomy provides the vision of a global success system, which transcends time and space by providing a variety of services. Atomy provides various support measures for partnering companies, such as cash payment within one week from delivery, interest-free operating fund loans, and joint quality management systems, among others. These create a culture of accompanied growth.
sharing is a mission that all companies must fulfill. Atomy's executives, employees, partnering companies, and members all practice sharing together to improve the lives of all members of society. Whenever sharing is needed around the world, global branches will be united to support happiness for all. The company that holds true to its principles while creating a new distribution culture. The company expanding globally with the trust of people around the world. The company that dreams of customer success while moving beyond customer satisfaction. The company that cherishes the spirit. We are Proud Atomy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Global Top English Seminar. My name is Luke Kim, and I'll be your host for today. Today is November 3rd, 2022, and I hope everyone's ready to enjoy the uh, preparation that we have today for the speakers and the individuals who have joined. So before we begin with our company model, I would like to just introduce to you our interpreter for the Karen language, uh, Kuao Pao uh, from Norway. Yeah, she's coming right now, so you can skip. Yeah. Okay, I, she'll join us later and she'll be able to do translation then. Translation is on the bottom. Within language, you can choose to go to the Karen language or stay on English if you want to listen in English. So those are the available translation uh, at the moment. And so we will go ahead with our company model. If you can follow along with the actions and the words, that'd be wonderful. So once it's up, we'll begin. All right, is everyone ready? Yes. Yes. Go. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. the spirit. All right. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So our first speaker for today, doing the product presentation for us, um, do uh, sales master Say Hen Pao. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sei Han. I live in Canada. Um, I'm not yet a cell master. Um, I used to be, but I took a whole year off last year, and now I decided to rejoin Atomy again under uh, Muset. So I'm starting everything from the bottom, so I'm, but I'm excited to be back. And this time, I decided to just go slow and steady because I plan to stay with Atomy for a very long time. So again, I'm not a, ma a cell master yet. So today I will be, sorry. Today I will be presenting three Atomy products, um, Atomy Evening Care Set, Atomy Liquid Eyeliner, Atomy Daily Mask Sheets. So the first um, product that I will be presenting is Atomy Evening Care Set. So Atomy Evening Care Set comes in four sets. The first one is the um, foam cleanser, deep cleanser, peel off mask, and peeling gel. Um, this can be done during the day or during the night. It's up to you because I know that sometimes people are busy in the nighttime. So they can do it in the daytime when they do have the time. So this set, this evening care set, will give you the same result as um, going to the spa. So I was doing this set two days ago, and I remember that I have to do a product presentation today. So I decided to take stock pictures and add it to my presentation so everyone can see. So the first step um, of this evening care set is the deep cleanser. 
So a deep cleanser removes your makeup, it removes sebum, and also a jelly removes impurities and waste deep inside your skin. It also provides uh, vitality to your entire skin and it keeps your skin clean. So there are three that uh, sorry, there are three effects from this deep cleanser. So the first one is it keeps your skin firm. So ginseng and ginkgo baoba extra provides a uh, vitality to your entire skin and it keeps your skin firm. The second effect is um, brilliant skin tone. Um, so green tea extract manages skin tone to be brilliant, to make your skin clean and clear. And the third one is keeping your skin firm. So carrot extract and um, charcoal feral acetate provides nutri nutri nutrients in addition to cleansing effect to make your skin glossy and moist. So how do you use deep cleanser? So before washing your face or anything, whether you have makeup on or not, it's actually pretty good to always use a deep cleanser before using a foam cleanser. So what deep cleanser does is, like I said, it removes your makeup. So if you have makeup on, you don't even need makeup remover. You can just use this product to remove all your makeup and it removes it very well. So what you do is you, um, apply appropriate amount on your face and you massage it all over it as much as you want until um, everything is removed, all the makeup are removed. And then afterwards you wash it off with water. And after you wash it off, it will leave your skin feeling so nice and soft. So the second step is the foam cleanser. So this foam cleanser removes uh, pore sediments it removes sebum and also it has a very, very nice uh, foaming. So when you squeeze out an appropriate amount and you wet it with a water, and if you massage it with your hands together, it's going to create so much leather, which is really nice. And afterwards, you just wash off your face with it. So the three effects that this product gives is the first one is um, its antibacterial effect. So the trichlorositic acid um, removes various causes of skin trouble from harmful environmental substance. It also helps to create a very healthy skin and you will also feel fresh afterward. The second effect is uh, the moisturizing effect. So the beta can moisturizing agent prevents tightening of skin after wash. So while in nutrients of um, villainous lentils, uh, vegetable warm extra help make skin glossy. So the last effect is trouble skin, uh, sorry, trouble care. So glyceratinic acid um, contain, contents takes care of skin troubles and helps keep skin sensitive, uh, help keep sensitive skin comfortable. So how to use this um, cleanser is that, oh, we already talked about it, right? Okay, so let's just go on to the next. So the third step is peeling gel. The three effects of peeling gel, the first one is porn care. So porn care, so in this ingredient, the willow bark extract removes the horns without skin irritation and it also makes your dull and rough looking skin clear. So the second effect is moisturizing effect. So by containing components with excellent moisturizing effect, it prevents your skin from dryness after peeling the mask off. Uh, after not peeling the mask off, but after washing your face off. And it also helps maintain your skin moistness for a very long time. So when I use this peeling gel, after I remove all the sebum, after I massage it and wash it off, my skin actually did not feel very dry or tight. It felt very uh, moisturized. So that's the good thing. So the last effect is 
I think um, it's supposed to be skin soothing, but I think they made a typo here. They put horn care again, but skin soothing. So citrus grandis is a grapefruit and um, this peel extract calms your skin sensitized from the harmful environment. So how to use this peeling gel? So after uh, cleaning your face with a foam cleanser, you wash it off, you dry it off with a towel or with a um, anything. And then afterwards, you apply this peeling gel on a dry skin. You apply it and then afterwards, you leave it on for approximately three minutes or until you feel like ticklish on your face. And you can also test it out before you massage your whole face. You can test it out in a uh, one side of your face and see if anything comes off. So if you feel that it's ready and you feel the sebum coming off, then you can massage your whole face for um, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And afterwards, you wash it off with water. And after you wash it off with water, your skin will feel so smooth and nice and it's not going to feel rough like before. So the last step is the peel off mask. So this peel off mask is um, for pore care and firming action. So through the pore restricting and lifting effect, it helps make your skin um, smooth and buoyant. The three effects of this product is, the first one is energizing hair. So jade powder and amethyst powder helps active circulation of skin and restore skin health. The second is firming effect. With contraction of packed composite, the open pores are retightening and skin is lifted. So the last effect is trouble care. So citrus gratis peel extracts and portulaca extracts make skin irritated from the environment to become calm and cares for skin troubles and glycine uh, der derivatives and glycerin makes dry and crumbly skin calm. So for this uh, peel off mask, after you do the peeling gel, you wash off your face again, you dry your face because you have to put this on a dry face. Um, for some people, they have a very, very dry skin, right? So after, if they just put uh, apply this peel off mask alone, um, their face might feel very, very dry and irritated when uh, the peel off mask is getting dry. And once they pull it off, it's not gonna feel nice. So one thing that um, you can do to prevent this is that you can apply your toner and also some serum or essence before applying the peel off mask. So this way, it will help your skin not feeling dry, not get it dry and irritated. And after you pull the mask off, your face will feel very moisturized and very smooth. And it's gonna give you that glass skin look after you know after you apply your skincare afterwards and that's it for um this evening care set so the evening care set does come in a package like this the whole four set together which is fifty dollars but you can also buy individually like here um uh, me personally i like to use the peeling gel and the peel off mask because I already have my own um, cleansing oil and my own uh, foam cleanser that I really love. So for me, I really, really, really love these two products and I really recommend the whole package if you wanted to try it. You know, you can try the whole package and see it for yourself. It's really good. And as you can see here, this was after um, doing peeling gel and the peel off mask and after I applied my own um, cream my face was so how do I say like, it felt so smooth so soft and it also makes my skin look very moisturized and glossy so the second product that I am presenting is the Atomy liquid eyeliner so this liquid eyeliner is very um it's very smooth when you apply it and it's, it dries very quick. And the best thing is that it's waterproof, but 
<clears throat> if you <clears throat> excuse me if you remove it with makeup remover it removes very very easy which is really nice because some make some um eyeliner even though you remove it with um makeup remover it's really hard to come off still so you should definitely give this one a try so i to me eyeliner comes in two shades uh three shades sorry comes in black and i think dark brown and also um this brown color yeah dark brown black and brown yes the last product is the atomy daily mask sheets this mask sheets comes in um three types the first one is the expert mask firming, expert mask brightening, and expert mask moisture. So as you can see here in the photo, I actually this is from using Atomy Daily Mask. So after I um, apply the mask and I leave it on like the instruction um, instructed, I when I took it off, my skin felt so smooth. And not only that, my it kind of gives me that glass skin look that everybody likes you know so yeah it's really nice so what this product so this product um it's for everyone for whatever skin concerns you might have it's for everyone whether you're looking for something to moisturize your skin or for nourishing and firming or for radiance and brightening it's up to you and it's your choice on uh whatever your skin needs so the Daily Expert Mask Moisturizing it has a powerful moisture delivery uh, through the five layers moisture lock system and the nourishing and firming. Um, this one, it firms up the skin through rich nourishing energy and the radiance and brightening uh, mask. It, it's very powerful brightening effect that will make your skin glow. So this... So this mask gently adheres to the skin um, and it's excellent translucency makes the original skin color visible. For example, here, as you can see, you can still see their skin, their hand, because the mask is very translucency. So in how to use this uh, mask, basically after you wash your face, you can use um, Atomy Foam Cleanser. Do you wash your face and you prepare your face you can also, before applying the mask, you can also apply your toner and your essence or serum or anything before the cream. So before apply the mask, you can apply the toner and the essence, and then you apply your mask on. Because the mask also acts as a some type of like essence, a serum, right? Essence. So you can um, use your toner and other product before you apply this. So after you, the timer is up, you can just apply one of your Atomy cream or lotion afterwards, and it's really good and will give your face um, the best looking, you, you will have the best skincare. And thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my presentation today. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Sehe. Um, I would like to first say welcome back to add to me. I hope you are enjoying it. I hope you, uh, as you said, you're going to be here for a long time. And so till all the way to the end, and I believe you mean all the way to the top of Imperial Mastership as well. So hope you're able to start up once again to sales master, create that foundation, and then be able to grow continuously and make that passive income here in add to me. So welcome back and thank you very much for doing the product presentation, the detailed explanation of the skincare line, uh, the cleansing line, and all the other products that you have told us about. And for all of you, us who have not tried it, these are products that are very highly recommended for you to try. Many of these products, once used, you cannot really go back to use something else because of the effect, the immediate effect that some people affect from how they feel, the, the glow, the natural hydration that you get. These are things that are evidential when people try it for themselves. So if you have not, please go ahead, 
try it, see the effect for yourself, and then you'll understand. So thank you very much for the product presentation. And uh, to make sure we understand how to become a sales master and how to maintain our lineage to make it strong and uh, have that good foundation, uh, we have uh, Diamond Master Daniel Kim coming up next to explain the successful lineage creation method. Hello, everyone. I hope uh, you had another great week and uh, you're doing well. Uh, my name is Diamond Master Daniel, and today I'll be doing the lineage. So let me just uh, share this with you guys. And so today we'll be covering about how to do our proper line management, right? Because that is uh, pretty much the key to succeeding in Atomy by building the right line uh, and correctingly, correctingly building that uh, proper line will allow for you to quickly succeed and avoid uh, big traps that actually come along your way, uh, which actually happen to appear quite often. Right, more people tend to fall into these simple traps, uh, you know, due to maybe greed or just being uh, too thoughtful. Maybe right, these kind of small things that we might overlook actually will cause a big uh, damage in your business. And so today we'll be looking a little bit more into that. And so here I have a picture of the British monarch, right? And so on the left you see, and so now. Um, you know, a good question that I want to ask for us is that, is it good for us to have a deep rooted history and lineage, or is it better if our history is short, right? And, uh, you know, maybe some people might like it short, but I think that it is great to actually have that deep uh, rooted history in your lineage, right? Whether that is within your family or whether that is within your uh, business, anything like that, right? All of these big businesses, let's say like for Samsung or Apple, they want to leave a lasting legacy. And because of that, they have deep roots. They have very strong foundations, which allow them to continue to be the top spot of where they are year after year. They still remain the number one or number two in their category, respectively. And so that is the kind of thought we want to have when we're approaching Atomy. Right here, we have a picture of our lineage, right? In Atomy, we are the sponsor and then we build our two legs, right? So you go down each leg uh, on each side. And so as you can see there, we are gonna choose the legs on the left and then the one on the right, right? And then we build to that same side all the way down right, all the way down to the bottom, right, so that's the kind mm -hmm. of lineage that we want oh, to uh, build and, and continue to uh, create that lasting effect, right, and so if we uh, cut short our lineage or make it all scattered around, then it will be very hard for us to gather those uh, PV and make it possible to create that auto consumption auto income system. And so just like this tree we have here, on the left, far left, we have a tree that is making a big you know, tree with lots of fruits, right? But it has very shallow roots. And so if we think about it, that tree, once the storm comes, there's a hurricane or a typhoon or tsunami, that tree is going to easily get ripped out from the ground and thrown aside, right? And that's the kind of tree that a lot of people tend to build if they don't know how to properly build their atom business, right? For the one in the middle, that this person is building their line consecu uh, consecutively with consistency, right? Over time, but they might not see their results immediately, right? They might not see the money coming in right away, but then they know, they believe that once they become a big tree, that they will be unstoppable. Nothing will be able to blow them down or you know, destroy their business, no matter how hard it is, right? 
And so you can see that example from our leaders today, right? Some of the royal masters here, some of the crown masters here, when COVID happened, right? That is, could be an example of a typhoon or a tsunami in this case, many businesses actually closed down, right? I'm sure a lot of you also experienced it within your own neighborhoods, your own cities, where small businesses or medium businesses had to close their doors because they didn't have a strong foundation. And because of that, they had to close them and you know, went bankrupt. The same thing could be said for the opposite side for Atomy. Instead of closing down, a lot of these leaders actually doubled, tripled their income during COVID, right? Which is sounds ridiculous, but it is possible because they built a strong foundation, right? Obviously for those of us that are, didn't really build a strong foundation, many of them left Atomy because they couldn't handle the turbulence of COVID and the struggle of, you know, not making enough income at that time. And that's happens, but here today, I want to teach you how to build those strong roots so that you can avoid those kind of future turbulence because no matter what, it's going to happen, right? When there is a up in the market, there's also a down in the market, right? And so eventually those bad things will come, but it depends on how well you prepare for those bad situations. And so here are some few rules that I hope you can keep because these are gonna help you protect you and also prevent you from you know, taking a big uh, back step in your business, right? If you wanna take a picture, if you wanna write this down, this is all very important information for you to follow uh, as kind of like your guideline. And so in the beginning, many people who first join Atomy think that they have to start looking for people to help them right away, right? But the best way to grow is to succeed yourself. And afterwards, then you can help others once you are successful, right? If you're not successful, there's no point for you to look for other people to try to build your success because that means that you're not going to be able to properly give them the support and sponsorship that they need at that time, right? And then all that is doing is that you're just trying to use them for your own gains. But then, you know, obviously once they become successful, then you're not really much help otherwise being a, you know, bad sponsor. Right? So to avoid that, you want to build yourself up. In Atomy, everyone has to work on themselves, right? Everyone needs to build themselves up so that they can be the proper leaders to their partners. And so let's say you have a new partner that joined and they live in another city, right? You sign someone up after looking for a long time and they live in another city or another country. Uh, you know, you live in Canada, but they live in uh, Paris or they live in China, they live in Korea, wherever but they just started, so it's not really practical for you to fly all the way to wherever they're living just to help that one partner, right? Yes, if you've already built up your business to a certain level, that is okay, but this is for beginners only, right? When you're very first starting Atomy, you wanna avoid going to these places to do business because in the beginning, the amount of money you can spend is limited right? Unless you're rich, then you can go and do whatever you want. But if you are uh, just a regular income wage worker, and you don't have a lot of money or a lot of savings, then it's very difficult for us to do that kind of uh, activities and spending a lot of money to buy a plane ticket to go all the way there to meet those members to sponsor them, right? And so in the beginning, you want to look for members that are close to where you live right? Your friends or family members that live in your town, your coworkers, those are the people that you want to first reach out to instead of people all the way in another country, right? And then from your connections, you start to look for leaders that can help grow your business and that help grow together with you, right? And then you slowly grow your lineage through those connections. And after that, you start to move further out into different cities. And eventually, then you'll have global partners as well, right? So for the reason for this is that once you are grown and with your sponsor's help, you can be, make it easier to grow even quickly uh, uh, when you're in a global setting, right? So you start to add people in another country right away, then you could face some difficulties as a beginner. 
So please try to look for those around you first, then branch out as you grow your business. That just makes it a lot easier when you are first starting out so you don't make it harder for yourself. And uh, you know, in order for us to build the right lines, you want to group people in the same connections, right? And so let's say you group your connection together and have them sign up in the same area uh, for your school members, right? You have your friends that are from each school, elementary school, middle school, high school, doesn't matter. You group them in the same line. Don't put them in separate lines, please. Please avoid this because many people tend to do this thinking that this is kind of like a pyramid style uh, business, but this is not a pyramid style business and this is not how you should do it, right? So I'm telling you now, uh, for your sake, right? Not for my own, right? Please avoid putting people randomly into different lines, right? Especially if they're in the same group, right? Family members as well, right? There are certain circumstances that might be okay, but that you need to consult with your sponsors first before you do something like that. But in the very beginning, if you are a beginner, please group them together um, before you sign them up so that you kind of have an idea of who your friend groups are and put them there. Uh, same with your family members or your coworkers, keep them in the same lines. And so the reason why we do this is because people will fight each other because of your groups, right? If you break them down and break them up and, you know, um, there was a sponsor who found uh, someone in Indonesia, right? There's a couple and they seem like great leaders. So he went there, uh, he talked to them and then helped them learn about Atomy. And so that couple was excited to work. And when their sponsor asked again in a month later, and they checked up on them, how they were doing, they said that they are no longer going to do this business. So what happened between that one month time, right? So the sponsor actually found out was that the couple went to their church, right? Good place to meet people, sign people up, right? And instead of signing people up in the same group, they thought they were being smart, that they were going to use their head and sign people up on both legs to maximize their income. And what happened is that the church people who were signed up, they found out that they were split up and that you know, they're in different areas and eventually causing them to fight and uh, causing a huge uh, drama in the church and uh, having the, that group shut down and everyone left, right? And so what could that person have done better? Right, they could have just listened to what their sponsor told them. I'm pretty sure the sponsor told them to group them together, but they ignored their sponsor's message and said that, okay, I'm smarter than my sponsor. I know what I'm doing. I don't need my sponsor's advice. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to sign them up however I want. And in the end, this was the result of their action, right? And so please, for your sake, right? No, for your partner's sake, please avoid this simple mistake and add them in the same group. And at the same time, we also have to do both legs, no matter whether your sponsor is working on your uh, one side of their leg as well, right? If you're on your sponsor's main leg, they're working on one leg. It doesn't matter whether they're working on one leg and that leg is really big, you still have to work on both legs, right? And this I'll further explain uh, later why you should do this and why we need to continue to work on both legs, but um, it's to prevent actually uh, yourself from growing slowly, right? And so you might think that, oh, why am I grow, gonna grow slowly when my sponsor is already working on one leg and it's really big? I just have to focus on one leg and that's it. But I'm telling you now, that's actually a tr big trap. And many sponsors that tell you that they're going to help you with one leg and you just need to focus on it is not actually helping you at all, right? So please, um, avoid this because it's going to cause further complications. And, and so this is your own business. If you think of this as your own business, then you don't leave it up to someone else to do your own work and to help you succeed, right? It is up to you to work hard so that way you can find your own success. And same goes for everyone else. And that doesn't matter if it's your sponsors or your partners. And so here are some of the things that now you need to watch out for, right? So I told you a little bit about the rules that you want to keep. Now it's about what you needed to avoid, right? Avoid so that you don't fall into the obvious traps, right? So an example of this is that, you know, we have our, um, do not make a lineage for those who are just a customer, 
right? So if you have that first part there, this is because this is a big uh, no-no because it's gonna cause a big problem in your group, right? So example of this is that you have a son or a daughter who you love so much. So you add them under you, let's say on your right side and you start to make two lines under them, right? So one on their left side, one on their right side, because you want them to make money, even though they are not interested in doing the business at all. They told you that, oh, mom, dad, I'm not interested in doing this. So please don't tell me what to do. I'm not going to do anything. But you love them. You want them to succeed and make them money. So you go out of your way to build two legs. Right? This will have a significantly negative impact on your partners because you are creating an unfair advantage to those who are actually working hard, right? So the partners that you actually have that are actually working, they're gonna find this unfair and it's going to cause further problems when you go down that road, right? And so humans do not like to be in an unfair situation. Once they realize that you're only helping your son, your daughter grow quickly, then they'll feel like this is a broken system. And no matter how hard they work, they will not properly get your help. And eventually your line will either grow sideways or you know, not really go drop down. And this will cause your business to grow really slowly or fail, right? So please avoid this, doing this uh, method. And so always consult with your sponsor as a beginner, right? So this is a person here who was advised to do two lines, right? But they firmly believe that they had to do a pyramid-like structure. So we have this picture here. As you can see, they built like a pyramid. They added a person A here, person B on the right, and then person C on the left, and then person D on the person, um, person right person, uh, right side of person A, right? And so they just kind of kept on adding this in like a pyramid structure. So all of these members are a person, the sponsor's members. They're not the partner's partners, right? And so they're all just members of part of the sponsor. And so this business did not last for uh, even six months before quitting, right? And so the person wasn't able to make any partners or any royal customers and ended their business. So why does this structure fail, right? Uh, this, you, many people think that this is a amazing system, like a pyramid system, but it is a actual 100% trap, right? So please avoid doing this uh, matrix system, which is a pyramid structure, because this is a 100% failure. Um, so you want to avoid this. Atomy has set it up to be a binary limit, so that way it prevents us from failing, right? So the answer is that you being at the top there is a limit to how much you can do for your lines, right? So you're supposed to send points down in Atomy to your left side and your right side because you are a sponsor and you spend money on purchasing products, whatever you need to do, you spend money and then you spend it on the left side, you spend it on the right side, right? And so let's say that you have all of these people, right? Then all of them are your members. All of them, they're your partners. Then who are you going to put it on? You can't put it on every little, every person, right? And that's the problem. When you do this pyramid structure, you are limited to how many people you can do because you don't have infinite money. There's only a certain amount of money you can use. So if you have a partner here, partner here, partner here, partner here, you can't help all four of them on your left side. It's impossible. Eventually, you'll run out of money. Eventually, you'll get tired of sponsoring all four of them. Right? That's why Atomy makes it so simple. You just have to do two. Right? So just help this line. And just help this line, like just like that. You just help two sides. And then these partners, right? Their responsibility is to help like this, right? And that's the kind of system Atomy is created. So that way it relieves the, the pressure of having to do everything by yourself, which allows for that team synergy effect to happen because you're not relying on just your own self, but you're also relying on the uh, support of your partner, support of your sponsors, right? And so you want to look for the right people and the right kind of people to build your business with. And the ones who want you to succeed the most is your sponsors, right? So why not utilize and use their resources that they have, right? And so who is the sponsors that are you know, your true sponsors? They are the ones that attend the system. Right? The sponsor that added you, if they don't attend the system, they don't love the products, they don't do the business, then they're not your sponsor. They're just someone who added you. That's it. Look for your sponsor. 
They might be the one person above that person, whoever it is, but you need to find your sponsor. And so that way they can teach you. They don't necessarily might be able to sponsor you because you might not be in their main leg, but they can still guide you into doing the right direction, doing the right way of the business. So that way you don't uh, make a mistake, right? And so we're going to go into a little bit of examples of situations, scenarios that we want to avoid, right? So here uh, we have a problem with doing only one leg, right? So we, I mentioned earlier that, you know, you want to avoid doing just one leg. You want to build both legs, right? And so let's say you have uh, uh, that person at the top, right? This is uh, myself, right? And so I tell uh, Mr. Kim here, um, you know, I'm just going to continue to help out building his left side, right? So, you know, you're, you make a partner, Mr. Kim, the business partner, and he just tell him, you can work on your right leg, Mr. Kim, right? Just work on your right leg. Don't worry about your left leg because I'm going to build that out for you. And so he focuses on his, uh, you know, right leg, and then you focus on your, uh, his left leg. And eventually, you know, that might seem good. He might make money in the beginning, right? But it, it looks easy. And the promise that you made, you have to continue to keep. So you continue to do it. But eventually, at one point, you're going to realize that, okay, now this side is too big. This side, your right leg is too big. Now you have to work on your left leg, right? So you move over. You got to go here to start working on this side, right? And so then, you know, what would happen? So now Mr. Kim is on his left side. None of those people are his own partners. And the members that he added, he can't give any sort of sponsorship activities on his left side because he doesn't know anyone. They are all your partners, right? So not only does this hinder his uh, business in that way, but when he's trying to do any sort of challenge, mastership challenges, he doesn't know any of these people. So he can't coordinate a teamwork effort to challenge together with these people because none of these partners are his own partners, right? In Atomy, not only is it important to build the right legs, but you also need people to work together with, right? On both sides. If you don't have people on both sides, it makes it so hard when you're trying to challenge for masterships because after sales master, everything else you need people for, right? It's not about the PV, it's about the people. So you need to look for the right kind of people on both legs, right? And so, you know, now this person appears with both legs grown. And uh, so that person doesn't even work, but they're able to get money, right? So now we have a person here, right? They're, they're working, they're not even working. And so they end up becoming a pig because now Mr. Kim uh, is not uh, really be able to sponsor them, but you are, you built that two legs right here, right? So then they're not doing anything and they're just benefiting from that, which is causing a total mess in your, your business, right? And so now this line will now become a complete mess. And Mr. Lee appears and he wants to do a business now, right? Mr. Lee appears later on. He says, oh, I want to do this business. But because a sponsor above him, directly above, is a pig and it's not working, then he has no choice but to go to Mr. Kim. But Mr. Kim is not his sponsor. So they don't, they're not able to support and help each other because they don't know each other. So then who does he go to? Mr. Lee has to go to you, right? Me. He goes to me because he has no one else and he, I'm his only sponsor and I'm the one that added him. So then what happens? Because of that, I have to help him uh, and it spreads my power thin, right? If this was my main leg, right, on my uh, right side, now I have to do this leg, right, and this leg, and I have two legs now right, on my right leg. It creates a additional leg, uh, which causes me problems when doing my business because there's only so much resources I can put in to doing this business, right? And so you want to avoid this. And so keep in mind, doing both legs is really important. You want to build out both sides. So that way you avoid that and you want to avoid building out two legs uh, randomly like this because in the end, it's going to cause you problems later down the road, right? So avoid doing this, please. Uh, so that way you don't get caught in this trap. And so now we have a, a picture of problems with adding members into a non-partner line. So we talked about this. So here in this scenario, 
we have customer right here. Let's say this is your uh, sister, brother, son, daughter, doesn't matter, someone you cherish and you want to help them build uh, their uh, money for them, right? So you start adding people here, right? M2, M3, M4, M5, et cetera. You start building and adding these members down their right leg. So, right? So then now what would Mr. Kim think? What would Mr. Kim think? Right. He will probably feel so angry because Mr. Kim is working hard. He's working on two legs right here, right? But even though he's working hard, the person above him doesn't do any work, doesn't support him, doesn't do anything. And then his own sponsor, instead of building up the people that are actually doing this business, he is focusing on building up his family members instead. So in the views of Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee, this is not a fair system and this will cause the partners to dislike their sponsors and it'll cause distrust and you know problems within your relationships. And then the lineage will either grow really slowly or these people, Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee will eventually leave to another group, right? And so you want to avoid this because these are the people that actually are helping and working hard and you know supporting your business they're the ones that are actually causing you to be able to make income up to this point but if you think that that's not the case then you are in a very sad situation right please support the people that are actually working hard it just makes it so much easier for your life right so what should you do very simple build all the way down into your right leg Right. If this is your main leg, you go all the way down M1 and then add M2 under Mr. Lee and Mr. Kim's side all the way down. So what does that do for Mr. Kim and Lee? It helps Mr. Kim as well as Mr. Lee because you are still supporting their uh, legs, right? One side or and they're going to work hard to build out their one legs each, right? Each side, they're going to build out each side, right? And for that person at the top, your son, your daughter, it's okay. You don't have to build out their uh, things for them because eventually you can do that later down the road when you're Imperial Master or whatever. But right now, it's not going to help you become Imperial Master by doing something like this, right? So avoid making that mess, right? Build your lines by adding them down all under that one line, right? So that way it goes all the way to the bottom and all the points can come up and support all your partners that need the help and that way, Mr. Lee and Mr. Kim will feel like this is a fair system and they'll want to work even harder to grow their own lines, right? So please avoid doing this because uh, it's not going to help anyone. It's going to make it even more of a headache for you, right? Because if you do follow this and then build out these legs, yeah, right now you're going to make money for your sons, your daughters. But when it gets to... Uh, you know, six months down the road, you realize that how much of a big mistake you made, right? You wasted so much time building this side when you should be focusing on just one side. And because of that, you wasted all your, your partners, all the important people that you could have used to support your business on your son, who is not even working, right? And so then that means you have to work on two sides. You're creating two legs for you to work on, on just one run right leg, right? So avoid doing that, please. And then making a deep rooted line is very important, right? So here is another example. You're working hard, following your lines. And then now you have two new partners, Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee, right? And you ask, uh, they ask you to put people under them because they have no one, right? So they ask you, Mr. Lee comes to you, Mr. Kim comes to you. He's like, oh, Daniel, I don't have any partners. Please add someone for me. I really need someone on my right side. And so you feel bad and you're, you know, feeling generous. So you add someone there, you add M3 and M4, you are working hard already, but you decide to add these people. So the people I've added now are all your own customers, right? They are all your own partners and they're not Mr. Lee's. They're not Mr. Kim's partners. They are your partners. And I have to be the one to take care of them. And I only have a limited amount of resources and money and time I can spend. So you can't take care of all of these different partners lines, right? Now what happened? I added three people, uh, two people here. Now I have three lines that I have to work on, three lines that I have to support. This makes it so much harder for me to do my business. No matter what your partners say, right? Still build that proper line. So what should you do? You build it like this. 
right? All the way down. Doesn't matter what Mr. Kim says. Doesn't matter what Mr. Lee says. Doesn't matter if they need help or not. You still build that same line. Why? Because if you build it like this and you add it all the way down, you are still helping Mr. Lee and Kim. You are still helping them, right? And if you want to help your business partners, then you need to do it like this. You don't do it like this, right? This is not what you do. You want to avoid building that. You want to avoid doing this. This is the right method. Because in the end, they're going to have a stronger leg, whether that's their left leg or right leg. One side is going to be stronger because you made the right decision of helping one leg and working hard, right? Eventually, right, whether it's a couple months down the road, Mr. Lee and Mr. Kim is still going to find someone down here, whether that's this sponsor, uh, I mean, whether that's their partners, whether that's their parents, their friends, their family members, someone in Canada, someone in Asia, they're going to find someone. So you don't have to add someone there, right? It's just going to make it really hard because if this person, M3 or M4, they come out to you and say, oh, I want to do business, right? Daniel, I want to do business. Then what, what happens? Right, then that means that you have to help these legs, and it makes it so much harder for you to focus on just doing two legs. Right, so like I said, this is not a more than two leg business, this is a binary business. Adam has created this so that way you can succeed, not so that you can make less money. Right, so don't try to break this system and just do what you're told, do what helps you grow your business to success. Uh, and time and time again, many people fall into these obvious traps, thinking that they're smarter than the system, thinking that they're smarter than their smart sponsors or, you know, just everything in general, but they are making this big mistake. So please um, consult with your sponsors always because they are the ones that are going to help you make the right decisions um, and continue to uh, learn and be in the learning and humble position, right? If you're not ready to accept those kind of information, then you're not ready to do this business because you need to be someone who is humble, someone who is willing to learn in order for you to understand where you can grow, where you can follow what your sponsors are teaching you, right? Because they're not trying to teach you to mislead you or trying to misguide you so that you fail because they want your success as much as you want your success. Because if you succeed, they succeed, everyone succeeds. Right. So I hope that we all continue to uh, maintain that level of success and level headedness when we do this business together. And I hope that you all learned something today uh, for the line lineage management. And so I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. And thank you all so much for listening. Thank you very much for that very detailed, clear explanation on how to make a successful lineage. Of course, there's that basic pattern that we all have that we must follow to make that lineage strong. Any like confusion that you have that doesn't fit the scenario or like any connection that uh, inter or a relationship that people have underneath you, those things that you should discuss with your sponsor because your sponsor would have experienced this or if not their sponsor would have gone through some of the situation, maybe gone through that same problems and had to deal with it and then kind of had to fix it the long way. And so, a lot of your sponsors will have the knowledge or experience or at least heard about it from others to be able to understand how to fix that or be able to deal with it or what's the best method to tackle those kind of scenarios. So your sponsor is there to support you in creating your lineage as best as possible so that you can become successful. They're not there to take advantage of you to destroy your team. They're trying to there to encourage, help, make sure everything's functioning so that you can become successful. Uh, faster. So utilize their experience and their support as well in creating your lineage because the lineage that you're creating is a team building um, uh, lineage and where we can work together to cooperate and build on each other as well and from the experience that we each have. So thank you very much for that detailed uh, presentation, Daniel. And so we have our final speaker, uh, leader message from Shiro's master, Young Soo Kim. 네, 안녕하세요. 토론토 탑센터 샤론 노즈 마스터 김영숙입니다. Hello. I am Toronto Top Sharon's Master <웃음> Young Soo Kim. 오늘 로얄 패밀리 어 
교육에 잘 참여하셨나요? In this royal family, have you all participated or attended very well? 네, 절대 품질. 네, 아니 잘 설명해 주었습니다. Uh, Sehan has explained to us about the amazing products of Atomy. 네, 멋진 Atomy 어, 마케팅 플랫 어, 또 시스템에 대해서 또잘 우리 어, 다이아몬드 다이언의 사장님이 어, 설명해 주셨습니다. And then our Diamond Master Daniel Kim explained that system on our lineage very well. 네, 이 교육에 우리 참여한 모든 사장님들 어, 환영하고 함께 주셔서 감사합니다. And for all of you who have attended this meeting, the system that we've created, thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoyed and benefit 음. from. 한 번도 포기하지 말고 이 좋은 애터미 도구를 통해서 모두 노열 패밀리로 균형 잡힌 성공의 삶을 살기를 바랍니다. I hope none of you give up and continuously use the tool or app to me to create your uh, successful life. 네, 설명을 다 들었으니 이젠 우리 노열 패밀리 그룹으로서 교육을 잘 받고 이 일을 경험하고 실천하는 일만 남았습니다. So as a royal family, we have come, we know, we learned about the process. Now all that's left is for us to try, initiate, and challenge it. 네, 아주 쉽습니다. 제품을 사용하고 애용자가 되어서 경험하면서 감동을 느끼는 일입니다. The first thing is to be able to use the product and by using the product, being able to uh, see the benefit and then fall in love with the benefit that it gives us. 이 감동을 통해 시스템, 팀 미팅, 센터 미팅, 원데이 세미나, 석세스 세미나를 통해서 이제 조직을 만들면 됩니다. And from that feeling, the amazing product, the uh, heartfeltness that you get from benefiting from the amazing products, utilizing that to be part of the system and creating uh, your group as well. 네, 이두 가지를 우리가 훈련하면 우리 모두 노열 패밀리로서 멋진 균형 잡힌 삶을 살수 있습니다. And when you do this, you're able to create the setup where you are able to have that uh, balanced life of freedom and to be able to enjoy it. 네, 오늘 이 제품을 갖고 주위 아는 분을 통해서 또 나부터 이 제품에 대한 신뢰를 쌓고 또 주위 사람들한테 제품을 통해서 신뢰를 쌓아서 우리 한주 동안 열심히 경험하고 공부하고 훈련하는 한 주가 되기를 바랍니다. I hope you take today's uh, moment and to uh, to try out the products and from there build trust in it. Of course, sharing it to others as well, but first uh, doing it to yourselves. Uh, uh, giving the product to yourselves and making sure you are able to build a trust and understanding and throughout this week to be able to learn more and practice and understand the products uh, more. 한 번도 못 하실 분안 계시지요? There's no, in, no individual here that cannot do this, right? 네, 여전까지 우리는 엘리먼터리, 미드스쿨, 하이스쿨, 또한 유니버스를 통해서 공부하고 훈련해 왔습니다. Most of us has gone through elementary school, middle school, high school, and university, and gone through training. 그렇지만 우리는 부자의 삶, 부자의 에, 어, 그러한 것을 훈련 받지는 못했습니다. But the thing that we have not been trained in is the path to being wealthy. 애터맨 도구는 이제 우리를 노예할 패밀리로 훈련시키는 일입니다. And now the tool at me is that a training, uh, a way to allow us to become royal master, to train us into it. 네, 혼자 하지 않고 스폰서님, 파트너님을 통해서 함께 우리는 교육하고 경험하고 성공하는 일입니다. And it's something that you do with your 
sponsors and your partners and you learn together and work together. 네, 그래서 우리의 스폰서 이덕우 어, 임페리언님께서 성공 못하면 또이 어, 일을 어, 해내지 못하면 기적이라고 말했습니다. That is why one of our sponsor, Edog Imperial Master Edog, he has stated, if you don't become successful, that is a miracle. If you don't do the work, and you don't become successful, then that is a miracle. 네, 우리 모두 해낼 수 있습니다. All of us can do it. 제일 쉬운 일입니다. It is one of the easiest things to do. 성공할 수밖에 없습니다. And you can only become successful. You have. Yeah. 예, 너무 쉬워서 포기하지 말고 일주일 동안 열심히 우리 경험하고 해냅시다. Because it's so easy, don't give up and let us accomplish it. 자, 할수 있는 분손 흔들어 보세요. If you can do it, please wave your hands. 와. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for so much. They, uh, that was our last speaker from our leader message. Thank you very much for that strong encouragement. It is easy to do. It is just the habit that we have not got custom to. The steps and process are all doable. We can all do it. If we have a mouth, we can speak. If we have the knowledge, we have a skin, we can try it, we can eat it, we can do it and experience it. And all we need to do is share that with other people. And because of the product itself, people are bound to come. So yes, thank you very much, all of you for joining us. We have gone past our time. And so before we end, we'll do our company model together and take one photo. So don't leave until after the photo. Thank you very much. So thank you all of us. Once the company model is up, we will do it together. All right. Hope you can turn on your mic. If not, that's all right. But please join me with the company model. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Yes. yes. Go. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be taking a photo on three. Any form of heart is wonderful. On three. One, two, three. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Maria. Thank you, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, Lisa. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, beautiful lady. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>